Hello, gals and goons, and welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem Fates. And in this episode, we are finally going to start the next story chapter. Holy crud. I mean, I know I wanted to see it too, but you guys really, really want to see what happens next. And I honestly, I think it was worth prolonging it because now I have two swords. Holy crud, being a sword master is awesome. And, uh, well, you're going to see how powerful we're going to be in the next uh, story chapter. But uh, speaking of the next story chapter... We should probably get started on it, and, uh... Yeah, with a title like that, I'm pretty sure you know who we're gonna run into in these forests. Yeah, that's right, Camilla. The forest is so dark and dismal. The trees are blocking the whole sky. I can't even see the moon from here. It feels as though I've been walking in the darkness forever. Don't be fooled. They say this is the darkest region in the Kingdom of Nor, which is precisely why we're here. Most Norians would have a hard time tracking us through this area. Once we make our way through the forest, we'll be just outside the capital. Oh. Are you sure we're on the right track? I hate to get lost in here. It'll be fine. Don't worry, Lord Corn. I know my way around this place pretty well. Flora and I used to camp in this area in the summer. Between the two of us, we had every nook and cranny mapped out. <laughs> oh, Flora. I'm so sorry. Felicia. <sighs> I'm sorry. I need a moment. Understood. Of course. Take all the time you need. I can't imagine what you're going through. We can do this together. Thank you, Lord Corrin. I know we're all suffering in one way or another. I'm just trying to hold it together. I'm here to help. We're all here for you, Felicia. Well. So, Ryoma. I know Felicia said that she knows her way around here, but it feels like we've been walking in circles for hours. Hmm? I don't think so. It probably just feels that way because it's so dark. Hmm. I hope you're right. Oh, wait. There's something different. What? What is it? <sighs> I don't know. It's over there, something glowing. <sighs> is it some sort of animal? No. It's giving off an unnatural light. What? I don't like the looks of this. Do you think they could be more of Iago's optical illusions? Let's go! I don't know, but I'd rather not find out. Let's get out of here! <sighs> it's too late. We're surrounded! Let's hope these things aren't hostile. It can't be. I, I think this is a graveyard. Faceless. They're everywhere! We're in trouble, Ryoma. I can barely see anything, let alone defend myself. Hmm? There's something strange about these faceless. It's almost like they're... waiting. Usually they attack anything in sight without hesitation. Someone must be controlling them. Yeah. You may be right, but knowing that will do us a little good. I can't see anything. Pathetic. Oh, Corrin. Have you really lost your night eyes so quickly? Hoshido has made you soft. Yeah. Who's there? Contemptible fool! That's quite an attitude to take with a voice in the dark, is it not? See for yourself. Can you still not see me? <laughs> Even when I'm right next to you. Law is blunt on the subject of traitors. There is only one punishment. The sentence is death. Leo? I'll do what no one else can. 
I'm here to settle the score, once and for all. No more running or hiding. It's time to answer for your betrayal. I've even gone to the trouble of trapping you in a proper graveyard. After all, the brother I once loved is dead. It's only fitting. Shut up! That's some big talk for a reedy little bookworm. We won't back down until we defeat it. Your father, King Garen. Why don't you come down here and fight us, face to face? <sighs> You're quite confident for a coward who shoots his foes with arrows from afar. You think you can best me, so be it. Let's see how long you can survive my game. You Hoshidans think you're a ray of light in the world, but you're all hypocritical fools. True power comes from a heart forged in darkness. My feet, they're stuck! Takumi! What happened? I'm getting so tired, so drained. Unbelievable. It's the swamp. Everyone get out of the water right now! Huh? Strange. It doesn't seem to be affecting me. So, your connection to Nor hasn't been completely severed. I see. No matter. There will be no escape today. In the dark forest, where even the moon and stars dare not shine, all sources of light shall be swallowed up in my darkness, because I will it so. Hoshidans, who have spent all their days in the light, can't survive without it. I'm surprised it didn't work against you too. This only goes to show that you were meant to side with us. You chose wrong, brother. I will erase you! You chose the light and left those who love you most to rot in the dark! Traitor! Listen. Please, Leo, stop this! I don't wish to fight you, brother. You're such a nuisance. <laughs> I would love nothing more than to best you in battle. Xander always lavished you with praise while ignoring my accomplishments. Camilla was the same. She... she always loved you more than me. You were Xander's perfect little toy soldier, and Camilla's dress-up doll. I've always resented you for that. Brother, I've been keeping all of this in for so long. But it doesn't matter anymore. Had I known you'd betray us, I wouldn't have bothered being intimidated by you. No. Do, do you really mean that? Have you always resented me? I thought you were so close. Did you ever truly love me? Tell me! Traitor! I'm not going to give you the satisfaction of answering that. I'm just going to kill you now. Yeah. Leo, no! Chapter 18 has us facing against our brother from Nor, Leo, and his retainers. And Leo himself is a force to be reckoned with. He has the legendary tome Brynhildr and is a level 12 Dark Knight, which means he has a lot of movement and a lot of range, so you need to watch out for that. Also, his retainer, Niles, is packing the Killer Bow, which has crazy crit chance, and that combination with his skill could be a deadly combo, so you need to be careful of that as well. There's also Odin, who has Nosferatu. He's not necessarily super powerful, just kind of annoying. <laughs> but all three of them do make for kind of a difficult pair. Now, my strategy for this battle is honestly bring Hinoka and Obodo if they are sufficiently leveled up. They should be very capable of taking down Leo, since the tome basically is a sword and the weapon triangle. But you're going to notice that three units mix for kind of a short chapter, and uh, yeah, we'll get into that. But I brought a variety of characters with very high defenses, keep this in mind, and also a magic user, because why the heck not? I'm trying to get Orochi to uh, use a ranked tomes, but uh, yeah, here come the faceless. But we don't really need to worry about them, since if we just defeat the boss, it's GG, but uh... Yeah, here's the thing. Getting to the boss is the hard part, since these faceless just keep on, keep, just, they just keep coming. There's pretty much no way to stop them. And let's see, Steel, Beast Killer. Beast Killer actually won't do too much. I think I'm going with the Steel Naginata on Hinoka. I'm going to put her on the side that Niles is not on. So hopefully we will not aggro him, and then every turn, Hinoka has more than enough defense to completely eradicate these faceless, like, they're honestly not the main portion of this chapter. If you're having difficulties just getting past the faceless, you probably need to level up. That being said though, I am ridiculously overleveled for this chapter since we did the paralogs and all that, but you know, it kinda comes when you try and do a complete playthrough. But anyways, let's see, who do I want to, I'm gonna send, yeah. 
pretty safe to assume Silas can just rip all these faceless to pieces. I don't think we even need to show the faceless battles because we know what's going to happen. And my only problem with this chapter is we're pretty much always going to have Azura and Sakura in danger, which I just don't enjoy at one bit. So I'm going to try and spread out. The issue is the faceless, they just honestly like keep coming. So the quicker you take down just Leo and his retainers, the better. You do not need to take down both retainers. However, I am going to be trying to go for Odin because he's like my favorite character ever. And most importantly, he does drop a free item, which we could technically just buy from the store. But you know me, I'm so cheap. I don't want to do crap and huh? Why is Calamity's Gate doing like double hit and nothing else is? That's very bizarre, but let's just knock these guys. I, I held down L. Well, I guess we're seeing this one. I don't know why, but I think Raja and Oboro would be friends, just because they have very obsessive personalities <laughs> for, uh, you know, royalty and all that stuff. But yeah, I decided to pair up um, Korin and Kaze for this chapter, since really, um, I want to show you, now that we're a Swordmaster, what we can do once we have enough speed. I'm going to be going for the Spirit Katanas here, just because it shows that I have like two swords, and now it looks really cool. So that's my only reason for doing it. It is true, it does more damage technically, but that crap don't even matter. So, uh, yeah, hmm, Killer Axe or Silver Club. I gotta be careful when picking, uh, weapons for... I'll just do it, why the heck not? For picking weapons with, uh, Rinka, because sometimes it just won't work, and hey, crits for days. Someone commented, it was like, what is it? physics? Just physics. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard, but... Um, yeah, Rinka still really, I honestly, like, her defense stat is just really good. She's not as good as the generals that the Norse get, but almost as good, you know. And, um, yeah, we're just gonna go for Tiger Spirit, we'll just one-shot it. Faster battles, am I right? That's all I care about lately. <laughs> Alright, then we're gonna sing to Corn. get the level up on Azura, not bad. Almost level 20, I want to get that as quickly as I can, because that's going to make just battles a complete joke. And we're going to head up here with Azura, actually not Azura, Hinoka and Subaki, and take down this other Shackled Fist user. Though I don't think, oh, oh my gosh, double, this is what I want, we're almost to the point where I want my main character to be, dude. Every battle, we should proc some random effect, and please tell me, okay. I was right, Azura will not get targeted, and let's see, what do we do with Mozu? Actually, I'm gonna, hmm, Mozu is the same level, so I'm just gonna pair up uh, Takumi and her, and then I guess finish off this guy, no reason not to. And Mozu can now use swords, but I'm thinking about him like, you know what, we already have so many sword masters, do we really need that? But uh, yeah, so far everyone, no one is taking damage in this fight because the Faceless and their Shackled Fists just completely suck, and I doubt we are going to take a lot of damage just because, yeah. The avoidance we have as a Swordmaster is just through the roof, and once I start getting other Swordmaster skills, you're going to see how powerful my Corrin can be. It's taken us a while. Admittedly, I knew that coming into this, but I'm just... Oh, I missed a crit. Bummer. Well, maybe I should stop, but... This could be potentially... No, okay, let's be totally honest. This is sort of similar to the uh, chapter where, you know, Azura was dancing in the hall. It's mostly for story and exhibition. It's not meant to be the super difficult chapter. And dang, Silas has like 10 crit unpaired just from the Steel Sword. I mean, that's not bad. The Steel Sword doesn't even give him any negative, like, status ailments. And okay, come on, get out of here. <laughs> like, if they do zero damage, I mean, what's honestly the point, you know? That's just how I see it. So I'm gonna just, you know, skip around a little bit. I hope you guys don't aren't annoyed by that. And I swear, I'm holding down L. I'm just letting go of it at the wrong time. God damn. Yeah, we get it. Silas is the best. He doesn't take Oh, here comes Odin, though. Crap, this could be bad. Ooh, you chose it by the darkness. It has been a while, hasn't it, young Corrin? It's a shame that I will have to destroy you now. But orders are orders. If only you had stayed true to our glorious and noble kingdom. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, uh, that's not the reaction I expected. Um, do you remember not having the darkest and most mysterious of heroes? Um, sorry, I have a really bad memory. Really bad. By the way, what's with the whole warrior chosen by darkness thing? Yeah, yes, well, I am the knight. I am the... Uh, I can't do this. And throw down your weapon. There's no need for us to fight. 
No, must tame the darkness! Let's just get this over with. I can't control my powers around you. I am at your service. So yeah, that's why Odin Dark is my favorite character in this whole stinky game. <laughs> he is hilarious, and I would have been so upset if I did not get to show that exchange of dialogue. It's just the stinking best, man. But uh, yeah, Hinoka completely obliterates him, so uh, get it, girl. No, you can't heal zero, man. Those rods who can only save you for so long, and out of the darkness, I spring into action. Fear me, I am Odin Dark. Cool! Taste my Naginata! <laughs> Sorry, man! And Odin Dark falls. He's, he dies the funniest way ever. He just spins, man, and oh, back into the darkness. I go. Goodbye. Have a good day. You done diddly died. And we got a horse spirit. Ironically, when we're holding we're Using a horse, how about that? So now we could literally just go here and kill Leo, which I'm kind of thinking of doing. Yeah, I think that's the smartest play. I would like to show the dialogue with Niles as well, but uh, to be honest with you, it's not as funny as Mr. Odin's, but yes. Leo, I'm sorry, man. But I have to do this. God dang it, dude. Oh, so I really like this theme song a lot. I'm just gonna let it play for a little while and... Huh? You made it all the way here. I suppose that means I have to kill you with my own hands. Be honest. Do you really mean what you said earlier? Have you... Have you really always hated me? Because... I've always loved you. There's no point in answering that. It's all over now. Leo. I'm sorry, Leo. Why did we have to fight each other, man? We're family! Right? If we were not blood-related... I'm sorry, Leo. Oh my god. We just crit a dragon fang. Dang, man. Corn is ticked. And no, I can't fall like this. Not until I've proven myself. Leo, I'm sorry, man. I am legitimately. This is the second time we've killed him in this LP. God dang it. I'm sorry, man. But every time from now on that we promote or. Get to the next level we will get a samurai skill until we start getting sword master skills so first up is duelist blow which is uh a pretty good one actually and god dang it man wow that only took us two turns what the heck go ahead do what you must listen no accept your defeat and we can end this together <laughs> Don't you see? This can't ever end. Not until one of us is dead. No. I can't accept that. There was no need for our kingdoms to be at war in the first place. This is all Father's doing, Leo. He's fooled us all! Oh. You've always been naive, Corrin. This is war. This is life and death. Only the strong survive. If Nor bows down, we'll lose everything. Our lands, our people, our culture, our legacy, our families, even our lives! I won't let Hoshido take everything from us. I won't back down. Leo! Am I the one who's naive? Or is it you, blind to Garen's lust for power? This is war! <sighs> As though the Hoshidans have never ended a life to serve their own purpose. They would slit your throat in an instant if they thought it would serve them. No! That's not true. From the moment I arrived in Hoshido, I was treated as if I belonged. The same goes for Azura. King Garen is mad with power, and he must be stopped. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I hate to do this, but don't move an inch, Leo. I'll be forced to end you. <laughs> I don't doubt your ability to hurt me, dear brother. Go on. Kill me. End this battle. Just as you wish. What are you waiting for? I'm not helpless. Even in this position. I could kill you right now with a spell. Make your move! No. What? Why? What's wrong with you? What was that? Me? What's wrong with you? Why haven't you cast your spell? <clears throat> because... Listen. Leo, I know you. We grew up together. I know you've got a good, kind heart. Shut up. No, listen. I told you to shut up! 
What makes you think you understand anything about me? I believe in you. Because we're family, Leo. Regardless of my true lineage, I'll always think of you as my little brother. <sighs> Leo. I won't ever give up on you. You said you'd kill me, but I'm still here. If you really wanted me dead, you could have done it a dozen times by now. Right. I believe in our bond, Leo. I had to believe you wouldn't really kill me. As one who betrayed Nor. Maybe I don't have the right to say this, but I don't want to fight against you or anyone in Nor. But especially my family. I still love you, brother. That will never change. Ah. Uh. I'm sorry. Brother, I lied to you. <sighs> Leo, it's okay. I never hated you. Not... not ever. I was jealous at times, sure, you were always Xander's favorite. And Camilla, she always doted on you, so... Leo! I understand. There's no need to say anything more. But Leo, please, please join us, brother! Help us put an end to this war. No. Asking for me to betray my father and Xander, and everyone else. How can I do that? I can't hurt my siblings. I won't do it! I... I can't answer that. Only you can. I'll admit, it's a tough road to tread. Listen. You'll have to find your own reasons for joining us. We can't give you the answers, but I do have something that can help you clarify your thoughts. What? What do you mean? Trust me. Take this. Look deep inside it. You might find it helpful. Hmm? What is it? Looks like some kind of crystal. My apologies. It's... not something I can explain. You'll have to try it for yourself. <sighs> I see. Understood. Excuse me. So, you're Azura. You are originally a princess of Nor, right? Does that mean... are we related? Well... Yes, I am Azura, but I'm afraid we're not related. Huh? But I thought... I'm sorry. I'm afraid I haven't been able to share everything about my past quite yet. Hmm. Does that mean you're not originally from Nor after all? Why are you being so mysterious? Why can't you just come out with it? I... um... I assure you, I have my reasons. I have given you everything you need to find the answers. I see. Very well. Leo! What are you going to do? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not ready to completely forgive you for betraying Nor and tearing our family apart. There are a lot of questions that I need answered. Understood. <sighs> to be honest, all this may be moot. None of you realize just how strong Xander has become. <clears throat> Leo, I've sparred with Xander dozens of times. I know he's strong, but I'm ready. <laughs> you mean your friendly little tickling contests up on the roof? You do know he always went easy on you, right? You know that, right? Xander means business now, Corrin. He's not to be taken lightly. You may have stopped me and my small army of faceless today, but I doubt that a lot of you could defeat Xander all at once. No. He can't be that powerful, can he? What can we do, Leo? Hmm. Truly, there may be nothing you can do, but I know one thing you can try. Make a pilgrimage to Notre Sagesse. What did you say? Notre Sagesse. Land of the Philosophers. What possible benefit lies there? Yes. Notre Sagesse is home to the Rainbow Sage. I don't know who he is or what he does, but Xander visited him ages ago. Upon returning, he put on a display of power the likes of which I've never seen. Um... I hate to ask, but how far away is Notre Sagesse? From here? <sighs> it's more than halfway back to Hoshido, I'm afraid. Hmm. The most direct route there would take us back through Secrencia. And then we'd still have a lengthy boat ride ahead of us. It can't be. And it's hopeless. We've come too far together to backtrack like that. Brother? What will you do? I assure you that you're facing off against Xander, as you stand would be akin to suicide. Understood. I suppose I have no choice. I'll have to go to Notre Sagesse, alone. What? 
Are you serious, Corn? Please don't tell me you believe this clown. Yeah? Takumi, I've known Leo my whole life. I believe he's telling the truth about Xander. So, even though this is a setback, I believe it gives us the best chance at victory. Oh, that's it! Unbelievable. I'm so sorry. I'm not asking anyone else to come with me. <sighs> Who said anything about not going with you? I just want to make sure you think long and hard about this. Huh? But... Uh-huh? We're all with you, Corrin. Right, everyone? Yes. Uh, of course. Everyone. Really, I can make this pilgrimage alone. We can do this. Nonsense. We stand with you, Corrin. <laughs> Did you really have any doubt? We will all follow your lead. Thank you. Everyone, I'm humbled to have your confidence and support. Especially you, Ryoma. To think... You could be king right now. Hmm. Very well. I suppose if you're all determined to do this, I shouldn't hold this back. Please, take this. Huh? What is it, Leo? A, a book? Yes. A warp book. It has the power to transport you instantly to Notre Sagesse. Consider it an even trade for the item Azura gave me. What? That can't be possible, can it? Listen. Oh yes, Corn. Believe it. This is why I always put my faith in books, rather than blades. Given the size of your party, I'd say this book has the power for one round trip. So, don't push your luck with it. <laughs> one round trip should be plenty. Thank you, Leo. Yes, well, I wasn't sure that helping you would be the right decision. But, after seeing how determined you are, I suppose it just seems right. You've always been a bit reckless, haven't you? Leo! Thank you. <laughs> it's time for me to go now. We'll see each other again. I'm sure of it. He smiled. It's been so long since I saw that smile. How bittersweet. I can imagine. Thank you for keeping a steady head throughout all of this. You're a natural born leader, Corin. Yes. Thank you, Ryoma. I'm just glad I didn't have to kill my own brother. As for you, Leo. I know you can't hear me, but I wish you safe travels. <sighs> my kind and precious little brother, who was ever at my side, I hope you find the answers you're looking for. And one day, I hope we'll be together again, as we should be. God dang it, man. I'm so happy that chapter ended in, like, a, a positive note for once. I mean, given the last story chapter, oh goodness. But yes, we have the tome that will apparently transport us exactly where we need to go. Quite convenient. <laughs> Nitpicking a little bit, but man, it was good to see Leo again. And holy crud, dude, he's just sounded ticked. And that was just a total 180. I was like, just kidding. I've always loved you, brother. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. And in the next episode, we take our pilgrimage to Notre Sagesse. So see you guys in the next episode. Bye.